stop domestic violence. Why? It's wrong. You or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence or the threat of domestic violence, there is help available. You can contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline at the number you see on your screen. Marion County Sheriff's deputies are investigating after a man and woman were found dead in Ocala. Detectives determined the deaths were a murder-suicide. tv 20s Missy Webb tells us how the case is similar to another violent incident in the area. Within the past couple of weeks, there has been three pairs of people who have died in Ocala. None of them are related, but it has caused fear in residents. The man and woman were found in a home on Southwest 20th Lane during a wellness check Monday evening. Detectives say the deaths were an apparent murder-suicide, the second this month. Marion County residents say they are noticing a trend. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what their motivations were. and. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of death, so I, I, I'm not, you know, I, it doesn't delight me. Matthew Bagdanovich owns a distillery along the street where they were found. He says he didn't see them leave their house often, but he still struggles to hear about more deaths in Ocala. The, the sadness for the, uh, for the murder suicides or for the double homicide it, is um, sad. I, I, I'm not a fan of the loss of life. Um, certainly not taking it. TV20 has confirmed with the Ocala Police Department the identity of the man involved in a murder-suicide on October 3rd. Investigators say 81-year-old Robert Fisher shot and killed the elderly woman he lived with and then shot himself at a home on Southeast 34th Terrace. The bodies were found by Fisher's daughter and another woman who lived on the property as caretakers to the elderly couple. Detectives say neither of these deaths are related. In Ocala, Domestic violence is always, always wrong, so just don't do it. God bless Miss Kathleen Callahan, age 57, gunned down October 16, 2023, and murdered suicide by her son. God bless. You or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence or the threat of domestic violence, there is help available. You can contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline at the number you see on your screen. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.